Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here. What I have for you guys today is a brand new demo of iOS 5 Beta 2. iOS 5 Beta 2 came out late last night, and I thought I would share with you guys all the new features within it. So there's not really too many. Um, number one, basically, if you guys go to settings, um, then you go to iCloud, there's a new logo, <laughs> uh, which isn't really important, but uh, it's now shiny silver, which is kind of cool. There's also a new update to Notification Center, so if you scroll down, and basically, if you have no no, uh, no new notifications, it'll actually tell you no new notifications. Uh, now, guys, obviously, this is not going to be the biggest update to the beta since iOS 5 Beta 1 did add all of the new features. But there's one new feature that wasn't working in iOS 5 Beta 1 that is now working in iOS 5 Beta 2. And this is the fact that you can now iTunes sync. And now, guys, there's actually kind of a funny story why I can't show you guys this new feature. Basically, uh, you need a uh, Mac OS 10.6.8 for this to work. And so what I did was I loaded it up on my MacBook Pro, and I turned back on the computer, and every single application uh, doesn't work, and it just simply crashes when I open them besides Chrome. So basically, I can't get into iTunes to show you guys this new feature. But basically, you can now sync wirelessly, and it's working in iOS 5 Beta 2, which is really cool. Now, guys, the final new feature in iOS 5 Beta 2 is the fact that there's actually a UI change with the notification center on the lock screen. Uh, so basically, let me go ahead and get one of my friends to send me a text message, and I'll be right back. And guys, so one of the new features with iOS 5 Beta 2 is the fact that you guys just saw right there, uh, basically the lock screen notifications were a little bit larger at first, and then once you maybe lock it and come back later, uh, they actually do shrink a bit. So guys, that's 